What's going on guys, this is Apple Fox Channel here and I have recently made a video showing you how you can turn on the flash notifications on your iPhone. But in this video, I want to rather talk about the ways how you can solve the problem in case it's not working for you. Because I have noticed that many people have problem with this, searching for a solution when the flash notifications don't work. So I want to show you how you can solve it in this video. Let's begin right now. Now let me put something in the background so it doesn't look that empty. I mean, right now it, it should be it should be better, honestly. First of all, one thing you need to try out is to see if you actually have it turned on by going to the settings and searching for the LED flash notifications. And if you have turned it on, then it means that it is completely okay. If you have it just green like that, it means that it is turned on. But make sure to have it just like that as well, because it may happen that you have it turned off the flash on silent and you are entering the silent mode. If you are in here and you have this option turned on, it's not going to flash in case you are in the silent mode. If you have all of the settings turned on and then you still don't get the flash notification, just make sure that your flash is actually working. So turn it on the normal way and take a look at it. So yeah, it works for me. And if this is the thing for you, if it works, then you don't have to worry about the flashlight, the actual light being broken. So now what else can you do about it? First of all, you can hit that subscribe button in order not to miss future videos. I mean, I'm just kidding, even though it would help you, so think about it. But anyways, make sure to turn off low power mode and do not disturb mode. In case you have it turned on, just make sure that you don't have it turned on because it may happen that do not disturb mode or do not disturb while driving is going to disable the flash notifications. For some reason, they can do it. So make sure it's not interrupting with your flash notifications. Now what you have to do is to cool down the iPhone and by this I mean literally put it in the colder area just make it cool down because the iPhones have a great feature and they have the ability to detect if the iPhone is hot if in case you overheat your iPhone if you if you leave it in the sun for a couple of hours then if you try to turn on the flash it's not going to work if you try to take a photo using the flash it's not going to happen because it's not possible and when the iPhone is too hot the the flash doesn't work. So make sure to put it in the cold area, then try to see if the flashlight actually works. And you will, if it doesn't, you'll probably get a pop-up like this that saying that the flashlight it cannot work because the iPhone is too hot. The next thing that you can do is to simply turn off the iPhone by holding down the power button. Depending on the version of the iPhone that you have, just simply turn it off and turn it on back again after some time in order to see if something has changed, if this is not a sort of like a software bug that needs to be resolved by restarting the iPhone. And if not, then head over to the settings and reset all of the settings. It's not going to delete any of your data, it's not going to erase all of your contacts and photos, it will simply delete all of the settings information and it's just going to be like a brand new device when it comes to the settings. Not to your data, only the settings. So the Wi-Fi passwords are going to be forgotten, the Bluetooth devices should also be forgotten and if you actually want to do this step, you need to head over to the general section and scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the reset. So click on the reset and now you can see we have reset network settings or reset all settings. So try different things, it should work with the reset settings and this will be pretty much all of the things I can think of that you can try out in order to fix your not working LED notifications on your iPhone and just like all the time the last options when you have a problem like this is to bring the iPhone to the Apple Store, but hopefully this video fixed it for you. If it did, I want you to hit that like button to let me know that you liked it and found it helpful. And if you want to see more content like this, just hit that subscribe button right now and make sure to stay updated. So have a nice day and see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.